we're going to talk about gear. We're going to talk about gear, what I use for astrophotography. So we're going to start off with my camera. So my camera, I currently use a Sony A7R2 mirrorless. Right now I have a Canon 16 to 35 Mark II F4. I use that mostly for my landscape work, but for astrophotography, my go-to lens what I like to use is it's a Rokinon 24mm 1.4. So we're gonna go on to my tripod. Curry currently using a three-legged thing. Uh, the reason why I got this is uh, just for the size, just for traveling. Yeah, I, I do a lot of backpacking, uh, do a lot of hiking, you know, trying to find all of my destinations. So I wanted something that was full, small, be durable, that I could pretty much take anywhere I want. So, yeah, as you can see, it folds up pretty small. You can fit it into a backpack. You can fit it into a messenger bag if you want. So, yeah, it's really, really yeah, it's really sturdy. So, and for, yeah. You know, you always want something, you know, pretty nice and, you know, a little ball head for your, your tripod. For the little thing that you see on top right here is for when I do pretty much panoramic. So I've been doing a lot of different pan like, you know, panel shots. And I'm currently using the, the Gem Tune D55. It's 60 bucks. Amazing. So the reason why I like this thing rather than just using just a regular ball head you know just a quick little turn is when you're shooting at night at you know when you're doing after soccer it's really hard to see these numbers I don't know if you can see them they're really 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 tiny so the good thing about these heads that I really like about them is you can set different degrees on it as you can see they have different like 30 degrees 36 45 and you can take them in and out what happened is when you turn it, it has a little click. So you take a picture, turn it, take a picture, turn it, take a picture, turn it, which is amazing. So that way you set everything up, you figure out what focal length you're going to be using. Let's say like a 24 millimeter. Yeah, I know me. I was using it at I believe it was 20 degrees. So that way I get a, you know. A 30% overlap, you know, a third of the screen is, is you know, 33% uh, overlap between these shots. This is what I use for my gear for when I go after photography. Uh, for anybody starting off new, yeah, I, I get a lot of questions asking, you know, gear, what should you have? You know, my recommendation is just whatever camera you got, you know, you want something that's gonna have. Uh, you know, manual control, you know, you don't want to be shooting an aperture priority or stuff like that. It's something that has, you know, DSLR or, you know, point and shoot, even cell phones these days, you know, I currently use an LG, I believe is a V10, and it has full manual control in it. I could take pictures of the stars and everything, you know, it's, it's not the best, but it's better than nothing. It's, you know, it's all about going out there, shooting and having fun. So with a lens, yeah, I, I recommend something that's fast. Yeah, just as my Roganon 1.4. You want something that has a really big aperture. Yeah, the bigger your aperture, the better. But yeah, I know money is an issue for a lot of people, and yeah, these these lenses are yeah. I mean, from the price wise, as you can see, they're they're amazing. They're let me see. Yeah, these are three hundred thirty nine dollars. This is 550 bucks for a lens that will compete with, you know, they'll compete with pretty much, you know, lenses that cost, I don't know, $1,500, you know. So they're, they're just amazing. But uh, if you can afford it and, you know, whatever you have, you know, you want to go try to at least get something with a 2.8, you know, that you don't have to bump up your eyes so as high. So, yeah, just pretty much whatever you could get your hands on, go out there and shoot. Just have fun, you know, borrow some other people's cameras, do whatever you want.